Hello everybody, welcome to the 2002 edition of the NASCAR New Year's Eve Spectacular from the Daytona International Speedway here in Daytona Beach, Florida. We got a beautiful night for it um, as we get 19 winners, past champions, here to race for a million dollars and future entry into all events. So, let's jump right into the starting grid. On the front row, Ricky Rudd and Tony Stewart, Jimmy Johnson, Ward Burton, the Daytona 500 winner in row two. Drivers, Mark Martin, to your and defending winner Dale Jarrett in row three. Rookie Ryan Newman and Kurt Busch in row four. John Andretti and Sterling Mar and uh, Jamie McMurray in row five. Bill Elliott and Matt Kenseth in row six. Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Kevin Harvick in row seven. Bobby Labonte and Jeff Gordon in row eight. Jeremy Mayfield and Michael Waltrip in row nine. And rounding out the field, Johnny Benson. Got four newcomers in the field. We'll touch on those later. The cup field rolls off into turn three. And getting ready to take the green flag to end off 2002 with a bang. Pace cars off. Rudd and the champion of the Winston Cup, Tony Stewart, leading him down to the green flag. And we're underway from Daytona. First time tonight, Rudd continuing to hold off the field as they shuffle behind him. Two time winner of this event. Kurt Busch moving in on the inside with Jarrett. Coming around to lead the opening lap, it will be Ricky Rudd. Touch on our newcomers tonight, Ryan Newman, Jamie McMurray. Sterling Marlin. Marlin was medically clear to race tonight. Um, but because McMurray got the win in Charlotte and locked the 40 car in regardless, Marlin decided to give McMurray a shot. McMurray will have a full-time ride at uh, Chip Ganassi next year in the 42 car. <coughs> and Marlin will return to the 40. have a silent lap three to commemorate Dale Earnhardt and everybody lost in the September 11th attacks. Mentioned all the newcomers, mentioned Dave McMurray, also Ryan Newman, Rookie of the Year winner in 2002, Kurt Busch in his sophomore campaign, breakout season, and the other, and runner up in the Rookie of the Year winner, Jimmy Johnson, the current leader. Our uh, four newcomers to the field tonight. Trick to plate winners, Ward Burton, the Daytona 500 winner, Dale Leonard Jr., sweeping the Talladega races. And Michael Welch at the end of the July 18th race. So we'll see how they. 
they work out this tonight. Right now, Mark Martin, runner-up in the points in 2002, has the lead with Bobby Labonte, the 1999 winner behind him. Mark Martin, a two-time winner of this event as well, 1989 and 1993. Has yet to win this event. Matt Kenseth, nothing behind him as well. Big year for Kenseth as well. Who missed last year's event after making his debut run in 2000. did not do very well. All four Hendrick engine plus two Hendrick related engines blew up during the course of the race. With two Hendrick cars in this race and one Hendrick related car, that'd be Johnny Benson and Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon, the two actual Hendrick cars. Gen 4 cars in 2003. Still going to keep the Gen 4 label, but and will still look mostly the same, but for the little bit more sleek. Also, the fuel tanks will be a little bit smaller as we fast forward. The fuel tanks will be a little bit smaller going into 2003. Good plan to some fuel strategy next year. As we fast forward now, 10 laps to go. And Ryan Newman. Oh, Newman. Let's find that fast rookie, Jimmy Johnson. Coming to Pit Road with Kurt Busch. Final pit stops of the night. Where the 48 team comes in as the leader. They've had a great night, a great debut in this event. Oh, yes, great shot. Get to see none of the pit stops. Looks so like a quick gas and go stop for Jimmy Johnson, and he's going to pull back out onto the track. Eight laps to go. Kurt Busch, and then a slow pit stop for Ricky Rudd, the pole sitter. Bush and Jonathan, neck and neck. So they come out of pit road. See where they line up when they cross the line. They come to seven laps to go. up in the third position, find the rest of the leaders. There's our leader right there, Tony Stewart.
who should be unable to catch up the start. Like Dale Jr. right there in the eight car. He's in the 13th a lap down. And he's going to hold up Jimmy Johnson. That's not going to be popular in the 48 crew. But he does duck underneath. Now Johnson has reclaimed the lead. Six laps to go from Daytona. There is a larger group of cars behind him. In the front two. So it'll be interesting to see if they can catch up and make this a race again with them. As they'll come to five laps to go. Jimmy Johnson should have won Rookie of the Year honors. Was the first to go to victory lane of the two rookies at California. And locking this win in may change some people's opinions on who should have won Rookie of the Year. Exhibition races don't necessarily count towards Rookie of the Year. Already been announced, but... Nonetheless, both drivers had a very successful work this season. Junior has stayed with this group. He has a lap down. As now we have four laps to go. There's that second group. Newman, Jarrett, Waltrip, and Jamie McMurray. position there so if they can catch up to Jimmy Johnson it could be a little bit of a race here as Jeremy Mayfield coming off a of pit road in the grass oh it's troubles looks like for Jeremy Mayfield stuck in the grass he could be having an engine problem or a flat tire. Tough break there for the team crew. Back up front. Johnson continuing to lead, but that group also beat up. Three laps to go now. there from Jeremy Mayfield's car. As we come to two laps to go now, Kurt Busch stuck behind Earnhardt. He's the closest to Jimmy Johnson and we'll see if we can make a run at him. Bush going to the bottom. As Johnson comes around, he will lead at the white flag with Kurt Busch now clear of Junior. We're on the last lap in Daytona. Two young guns. I'm gonna duke this one out. That group of four unable to catch him in time. Barring a incident between the two. But who's gonna win it? Rookie and young gun. Two young guns fighting it out. Hendrick and Roush coming down the back straightaway for the final time. Bush is right there. 
Can he get by Johnson? He's not going to make a move. He's going to have a shot coming out of turn four. Kind of backing up. Allowing Johnson to pull away. And will not make the move. Jimmy Johnson is going to win the 2002 NASCAR New Year's Eve Spectacular in his first try. The rookie will head to victory lane with a million dollars and automatic entry into all future New Year's Eve Spectacular events. What a win for the 48 crew in Hendrick Motorsports. Congratulations to Jimmy Johnson. Kurt Busch, heartbreaking second place finish. Just didn't have the space to get to him. And that is going to wrap it up from Daytona International Speedway. We'll see you next year in 2003. Jimmy Johnson will be there. But who else will be there? Find out next season. And this is Pringles on TV signing off.